Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Oh. Hey, Radiant Church, Pastor Sean here, and I am super excited to talk to you about our upcoming fall series, Red Hot. Invite your friends and come next weekend to join us with an unfiltered time with Pastor Lee. This is where you can ask your hot questions that he's never seen before and get immediate responses. Now, to give you an example of what this would look like, I'm gonna be asking the one and only Pastor Lee Cummings questions for the first time that he has not seen before. But to make it a little different, we're gonna do it while eating spicy chicken wings. So the hotter the question, the hotter the wings. Let's get started. Pastor Lee, thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, I've got to ask though, how are you around spicy food? I like spicy food, yeah. All right, first wing outside, okay. ready? Pastor Lee, many people don't know this, but it's been kind of more outed recently that in your early years, you were actually a hip hop break dancer. So <laughs> oh in those years, who was your number one influence and how do you feel like they shaped the style of the genre? Well, I don't know if there was a like single individual, but I grew up <clears throat> in the eighties when break dancing was just kind of the thing. And there was a, a movie that came out called Breakin'. And me and a couple of my friends who were kind of fascinated by this would like get together and watch that movie and then Breaking 2 came out. So we practiced <clears throat> all the breakdancing moves in my friend Tony's basement. So what would you say was your signature move? Probably the windmill. I could windmill with my hands behind my back. That's, that's impressive. Yeah. All right, so go to the next swing. I like that one. Yeah, that's good, we're in so far. So Pastor Lee, you are someone who prides yourself as a lover of craftsman Bibles. You've owned many Bibles over the years. What's one thing that you have seen uh, in mainstream Bibles that you wish you saw less of? Um, gimmicks, like fifth grade girls, Taylor Swift devotional study Bible. Yeah. What's one feature that is from your favorite Bible that it has that makes it stand out above the rest? Uh, the one that recently is large print. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas, Eve, Christmas Eve, I was doing the Christmas Eve service and I brought a Bible that I had notes in it from years ago. I thought, oh, this is great. I got up there and I froze. I, mean, I don't know if anybody <laughs> saw it. I froze because I couldn't read it and I didn't have my glasses up there. So I literally was quoting Luke 2 from almost memory. That's incredible. Because I'm looking at it going, oh, I can't read this. So large print is my friend. How are you feeling so far? Still a little sweaty Feel up great. top, are you good? Feel great. All right, move on to the next swing. Oh yeah. Man, I'm feeling that one. <clears throat> wow. And we have one left. We have one left, yeah. That's milk. Yeah, that's this that one might be a little milk worthy. So how far into your time of planting Radiant Church that you chose to use, I'm gonna call it the asterisk logo. And what does it oh. what does it really mean? Oh, wow. I can't believe we have one more to go. <laughs> so, um, pause. I, I don't think we're actually pausing, but yeah. <laughs> I'm pausing. Um, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, the asterisk, it's not an asterisk, it's a sunburst, yep. uh, but looks like an asterisk, Yeah. was designed by Ashley Garner, who's still on our team. She was our graphic designer at that time. And uh, so that's been our, yep. our logo or our brand of Radiant Church since 2007. All right, how are you feeling so far? I'm scared. Scared? All right. So, but perfect love. I will say, fear. very impressed. Uh, so far, the people, the pastors we worked with, 
have not even had coherent sentences at this point. <laughs> so why why are you are you adding some more? So our tradition here right now is we add <clears throat> it's called the last dab. We add a, one more dab on the wing. You don't have to if you want to. I'm gonna do it. Um, you know, I feel like if I'm doing it, that would make you want to do it. <clears throat> don't, Pure pressure. Yeah. That's oh a, Lord, no. Okay. It's a healthy Hold death. On. I'm gonna. Yeah, you I'm can. Gonna wipe some of that off. Free. Hold on. Ugh. There we go. Ready? <sighs> We're reaching the Deep summit. Deep breath. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. I think I got all of that on my tongue. This step away. Oh yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Swooping around. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Pastor Lee, super impressed so far. I'm wondering if you can nail the dismount. Final question, with your brain on fire. Can you name in order all 66 books mm -mm. of the Bible? No, I cannot. How far do you think you can get? And do you think you can beat the previous record? I don't want to, I, I don't think I could get to Esther right now. <sighs> Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, 1st, 2nd Samuel, 1st, 2nd Kings, 1st, 2nd Chronicles. Oh my gosh. Esther, Nehemiah, Ezra, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon. Minor prophets are gonna screw me up. Uh, <laughs> Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Job, uh, Joel, Amos Obadiah. For, uh, let me jump to the new. Matthew, Mark, <laughs> Luke, John, Ro Acts, Romans, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st, 2nd Thessalonians, 1st, 2nd Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1st, 2nd Peter, 1st, 2nd and 3rd John, Jude, Revelation. Come on. Nailed the dismount. Pastor Lee, press. I'm hoping I still have a job after this, but thank you so much for being here, joining us. I mean, I'm ultra impressed and we're excited to be with you these next four weeks doing a Red Hot series. So we're excited, invite your friends, ask your questions, and we'll see you next week for Red Hot.